And welcome into Emeralds Baseball. We're back at it here at PK Park to kick off the 2024 season. For the M's, it's year four of the new high A affiliation with the San Francisco Giants. M's new skipper, Jeremiah Naxted. He's entering his fifth year as a coach in the Giants farm system. And it's, it's a really fun group of guys that play the game hard and play the game the right way. And they're always hustling. And uh, it's just a, a really fun group to be with. And they don't care about the uh, conditions or elements or who they're facing. They just go out and play hard. He'll be joined on the bench by a couple of other new faces. Hitting coach Jared Walker, who wrapped up a nine-year playing career in 2022 and is in his second year as a coach in the San Francisco system. I like to be around to help other people so I can impact more people during the coach and I can't have play. But my goal is to just keep that focus um, of still moving forward to get to the big leagues no matter where you are. Mario Rodriguez will oversee the M's hurlers this year. The pitching coach is entering his 19th year with the Giant. Only returner on the coaching staff is fundamentals coach Eliezer Zambrano, who is also a longtime Giant. The Emeralds will open the year with 17 returners on the 30-man roster off of last year's ending roster and a fairly veteran pitching staff. Some familiar relievers like Ben Madison and Hunter Dula to go along with Nick Morreale. They should be steadying forces in the back end of ball games. And the rotation will feature the likes of a six foot nine lefty, Hayden Winya. Tonight, it'll be Jack Choke getting the opening night nod for Eugene. He's another big lefty. He stands at six foot six and is one of those 17 returners. The M's opponent for this opening three game series is the Tri City Dust Devils. Two on its way. Two hopper, smothered at third by Wyszkowski, gets back to his feet, throws a little wide, and Peyton just able to keep contact with the base. And there is another one, two, three, inning. Seven in a row, retired by the Emerald starter, Jack Choke. And the two, two from coming, he got him swinging. Another breaking ball, another one, two, three inning for coming. Six up and six down since he's entered, including four strikeouts. On to the bottom of the ninth inning. And we are still scoreless here on opening night. Back-to-back -back Emeralds hitters retired, and now it'll be O'Neill Perez. It's this one deep to left center field. On the move, Blakely cannot get to it. It's on the ground. Bandura's going to round third, and the Emeralds are going to win. one nothing. the final. A walk-off win on opening night. Perez, the hero, being mobbed out in shallow center field. And the Emeralds on a Friday night going to send this opening night crowd home happy. It is time for the return of our minor league promotion of the week. We're going to begin with the Eugene Emeralds. They're changing their name this weekend to the Eugene Exploding Whales. So good. Yeah. This is in honor of that 1970 event in which the city of Florence, Oregon detonated. They dynamited an eight ton whale that had washed ashore. Yeah, so the plan was it would result in smaller pieces for animals to be consumed. Instead, whale pieces rained from the sky and it clearly had to be cleaned up and buried. The good news is that now we have these beauties, a yeah. tribute to the whale and the dynamite. I really like this. Right, actually. dynamite on the, layering. on the diamond, no less. <laughs> uh, during this weekend series, Eugene will wear these. They will also be bringing awareness to climate and migration issues and remind us to never blow up a whale that beaches in Oregon. Look at the whale holding the stick of dynamite, right? Like that a angry face. Like a devilish norm. cartoon. Love it. And then like there's an, exp uh, well, you know, yeah, there's like an exploding thing back here, I think, right? Like up here on the jersey. Rain has stopped right at game time. So fortuitous beginning here, weather-wise. So the Emeralds getting ready to take the field, or should I say the exploding whales are getting ready to take the field as Emeralds manager Jeremiah Naxted looks to make it two wins in a row to start the season. Pantura rolls it to the right side of the infield, and that'll get the job done as Velasquez comes across to score, and the Emeralds lead it 1-0 here in the bottom of the first inning. The breaking ball hit on the ground and through into left field. 
They're going to wave Morgan around third. The throw will come all the way through. Morgan slides in safely. And Wyschkowski takes second base. So it is 3-0 Emeralds here in the bottom of the first inning as McDaniel picks up his fifth base hit in the first two games of the season and adds to the Emeralds' lead. And Velasquez tattoos that one. A line drive single is going to score two runs. Otremba is going to be waved around third. Three runs come in to score. That was the big hit the Emeralds have been looking for. And it is seven to one. So the Emeralds back to back wins to start this season. Seven to one the final tonight. Of course it is a Monarchas de Eugene Sunday. Manuel Mercedes, the right-hander, spent each of the last two seasons down in San Jose, will make his high A debut here tonight. Here's a line drive, but Velasquez snares it for the final out of the inning. And it's a one, two, three frame for Mercedes here in the top of the first. Higgins hits this one into right center field, sinking, and it'll fall in front of Sanchez. The first run comes across, and it's one nothing Eugene. 4-3 Dust Devils as they bat here in the top of the seventh inning. 2-2 pitch on its way, and he got him swinging. Belt tie fastball at 91, and McGillis swings right through it, so it's a 1-2-3 frame for Mikulski. The 1-2 on its way. Perez, broken bat squibber out towards short. Guzman gets to it, throws to first, and they say he's out. It was a close play at first. I don't know, Perez can't believe it, neither can the Emeralds bench. And the ball game is over as the Emeralds take two out of three of this opening weekend. 